facing docks. But I only have one life. Meaning that if I die, I have to restart. From level 1, with no tames. And boy, did this take many, many attempts. And I think I got lucky with doing it as soon as I did. So docks is, in my opinion, one of the hardest mods, if not the hardest mod, as in that adds loads of modded dinos. So let's just let me just tell you the story of what happened. So, like any other arc adventure, I got myself my stone tools, berries, food, all the tools, etc., and set out for my first time, which was a Bronto. Just to help me collect berries and stuff. Next was a trike, one of the best early game tames ever on this map. Gets metal stone, basically everything. Next, I killed an Apex Fluffosaurus after moving from the spawn, and that gave me some of a very useful weapon. The um, organic okay, rifle. That's the word. Basically, it's infinite ammo, and I use it straight away to go take on an Apex Dodo Rex. They do torpor and do a lot of damage, as you can see here. I killed the Dodo Rex before knocking it out, so I couldn't tame it. Which is annoying, but really a useful tame. But I jumped down to get the loot, and there's no bag anywhere. After coming back from there, I got the best luck so far. A Manticore nest with no defender. I've seen this happen a few times when I play through on the hard, when I did the hardest settings and just played normally. This was the best start I could have wished for. After getting extremely lucky, I got even more lucky. I didn't even know you could get these in the wild. But I tamed up a new Nick Rex X. I didn't even know you could get them in the wild. I didn't think it was possible. But after that, I took the Rex out, being super strong already, and killed a Prime Compy. By accident, and that because I had one bag of crampy by accident, and another that I actually saw. I needed to kill these to get this kibble right here, prime kibble, to be able to ride the manticore. I just got. Also got some rare armor. Next, once I could ride the manticore, raised it up and everything, I took it out to start a fight in Manticore X. Not the nest defender ones, the ones that are just flying around randomly around the map. Chasing one down. Because it was being a loony and flying around everywhere. We got what we wanted. The Manticore part. Which unlocks an additional attack. The X attack. The strongest attack the Manticore has. After that we went out taming. Glophosaurus and Dodos. This was so we could make Kibble. Or... Taming pygmies, which we'll get onto soon. Right, pygmies, is that? Right, kibble, I mean, tree. And this is the first scare of the session of this run. So I'm offered on minions from a zombie dodo, came out of nowhere, and attacked me whilst I was trying to tame a Dilphosaurus and kill my Manticore. That was fun. I then took my Rex out again. To hunt down an actual nest with a defender on. And took down the nest defender to get another Manticore egg and my wreck went crazy. Like always, because Ark's Ark. So, once we got back, I hatched a new egg. Just thought I'd show you hatching besides I forgot to show the first one because I have big smarts. There's a few problems in recording. I'll get to that when we get to the point. But once we got in Manticore, we went out Pygmy Taming from getting the Dodos and the Dothsaurus. Pygmies are just some super useful tames that gives you additional buffs if you have them on this shoulder. You and your team. The one I want, the Jaboa, gives like damage increase and stuff. But they also have the chance of spawning a boss. 
Well, you're luckily with the Manticore X attack, if you be careful and avoid this range attack, you can kill it easy enough. The main problem is, if you get hit by that attack, you're done for. But, playing it a few times, I know what to do. So when you're taming Pygmies, you have to be careful because that can happen when they, if they fail. So keep your eyes out. Also gives you loads of levels as well. I forgot about that. Like, lots of levels. Oh. And now, the Pygmies tamed. Nice. So, once we got back to base, you can evolve these Pygmies. So I grab a tree. A different tree, which is what the Lophosaurus are for. And he has a chance to evolve. I got lucky and got the evolve first time. Could evolve him twice, I just forgot for ages that you could evolve him twice. Big smarts. After that we went out to see what bosses we could find, to because you can evolve the Manticores as well. So the first one was a Yeti Prime Wild. So you stay at range again and avoid its range attacks. Because it's range attack can ground you, and then it, it and his minions will come and destroy you. So stay out of its range, and X attack, and it can't hit you. And we got the Apex Yeti head, which is part of the evolution progress for a Ice Manticore. Oh, you can get Manticore eggs from nests, like evolved ones. It's just rare. I mean, is that too strong? So I just go around and bite them. Like I can one shot them. And Anticos is incredibly strong. They also dropped some good loot as well. So make sure you get the bodies as well. Because there's very useful stuff that they drop. Next, we went out searching for more nests and eggs for Anticos. Because having spares is the most essential, as you saw. You could get attacked and you could get attacked and survive. But whilst we we're out looking for eggs, we found an endowment stuff, so we started killing all them around this nest. And this is what I mean. An apex fire manticore egg. That is an evolved normal apex manticore. Next nearby we found an apex pithecus, which we also need gorilla heads to evolve the other manticore. I guess I've just got a ice one, a uh, fire one even, but we still need both types because some are strong against other stuff. The final thing we need was claws, lightning claws for the wyverns. So we started taking down some lightning wyverns for them to drop their claws. So, and when you see wyverns on Greg, they're normally all in the trench. But in docks, there's a lot more. They're everywhere. And the stronger versions as well. So once we started killing Wyverns, we got everything we needed. We put everything in the Manticore. Took off its saddle because it can lose it will lose it when it evolves. And we start the evolution process. This has a chance to fail. So we have to be lucky. But once it gets to this flashing part, you know that you've got the evolution. And there it is. The Ice Manticore Egg. Next, was time for the first Prime Wild. I'm sorry for the static, I don't know what was happening during this. This is the first Apex Prime Wilds are the first mini bosses of the mod. You can't tame them, and they're strong. The difference between this version and the version I did with the hardest difficulty is they now have extra buffs. As you can see, this one has extra targeting range, so you need to be careful. As you see, I try and avoid, I try and fight the ones without the buffs. So I can, you know, be easier. Next we found a zombie dodo. And this is the thing that summoned the minions that killed my other manticore, so you know I had to get revenge. With my fire manticore. This X attack does explosions as well as direct hits, and I do a flamethrower. So it was easy to take it down and get our revenge. It wasn't the same one, but it's still a zombie dodo. Next we went out more pygmy taming. This time we got a monkey. 
which we tamed quite easily. And we also got a dodic. We wasn't going to use these on our shoulder though. These are for a different reason, which we'll see soon. So, we took them back to base and evolved them. I say evolved them, the dodic was being a pain. The monkey wasn't though. And you can put more treats in than one, it gives you one back. Eventually, we evolved them to their prime. This is where I realised you could evolve them to the prime because I forgot. So once you evolve them to the prime, I decided I need to sacrifice them. But I didn't have the stuff. So I had to go out and kill some Sarkos. So I went to the swamp. We found a prime leech, a leech prime wild. Another mini boss. So, again, we stayed in the air and destroyed it. I made a mistake. I don't know if you saw, but I killed a pygmy. And that'll come back to haunt me soon. Anyway, we got back to base, we got some more materials, and we got the stuff to make a sacrifice potion. So we made a couple, sacrificed the dodic. And when you sacrifice them, they give you prime hearts. I think that's what they're called. Prime heart relic, that's it. And these are used to summon ancients, which is what we need next. So, this is why I said it come back to haunt me. So before I got a chance to start recording, this King Kong was in front of base. Yeah, he killed my Manticore. I was lucky though because I was in base. So a sacrifice. Now we use a prime hunter to sacrifice. This took many attempts. Do you want to a dodic? We got a hell horse. We got everything we didn't want. These are okay, but not what we want for what the task we need it for. So after four or five attempts of getting stuff we didn't want, eventually, taming loads of pygmies, got a prime doad, which is the thing I need to fight the next apex creature. So, what the doad does, the ancient doad does, is you can do a special attack that summons a prime wild to aid you. It can be any of the prime wilds, but nothing stronger. The phoenix is the best one, I think. Or the wyvern, because they fly around and do Lorraine's attacks. Next, we took out the new ice wyvern. Wyvern? This is not a wyvern. Ice manticore. <laughs> Jesus. I decided to take on a strong... Arjun. So after a long, long while, because it's extra defense and ranged attacks, and many minion kills, we eventually took it down. It's still, even though it's extra strong, it still didn't do that much damage compared to other stuff. We killed it and got his head. Another thing we need for evolving stuff. And the fight took ages. Next, we found a Daedon. Prime Wild, so we took that out as well. That means he did a lot of damage though, but it didn't seem to take much health away. Next, we took out a Dire Bear, Prime Wild. This summons a Vanguard, as you can see, it's a massive bear that comes to protect it and probably soak a lot of damage as well. We couldn't soak that much because we splashed damage, killed the bear, and then the Vanguard disappeared because it failed. Next we went to the desert and took on our first Mega, the Mega Raptor. And this, if you have a Manticore, isn't a hard fight at all. You just stay at range. And it can't hit you unless you get too close with this explosion. It has two attacks as far as I'm aware. I haven't got close enough to see them. One's I think is a bite, a normal bite, and another's that explosion you see every so often. So even though it had extra defense, it took a while. It couldn't do much to me. So after sitting in the air and getting stamina, because Manticore regains stamina in the air. We whittled its health down slowly. Little by little. This XX takes a lot of stamina up. We took it down. I got victory music as well for it. Oh, and this survivor decided to overgo me as well. Has 3.5k health. 
no match for the Manticore. Oh, we got some decent loot from the Ma Ma Raptor. Next, we took the Dodix time to shine. We need to kill these death worms, and at the moment, the only thing I feel safe taking on with is this Dodic. Because it has a special. The, the, the death worms have an attack that attacks you from miles and miles away. Like, I feel they have infinite, infinite range, it feels like. The one shot or a so that's why I wanted the Dodic, because of the extra defense it grants. Next was evolution time. Again, so we got a new Manticore, and we evolved it to next stage, which is, I believe, did I do the ice or the fire first? Is the ice? It was acting weird there. <laughs> so it's, after that, we took out the fire wyvern, fire wyvern, fire Manticore. <laughs> I keep saying wyvern. I'm used to be using wyverns all the time. Flame. We took on the next mega, the next strongest mega, the Carno. And the strongest thing about this is these robots it spawns in. As you can see, I've got, I've got health potions to regain stamina and health, and it's still whittling down my health quite a lot. Here's the thing that's strong about them, the Carno, is these drones. We do a lot of damage to them, but they also do a lot of damage to us. Eventually, they disappear, so that's helpful. And the health potions help by getting my health fast once no one's attacking. And my stamina as well, so we do more attacks. I don't think the Kano can do anything other than summon and bite, so as long as we stay in the air, we have to worry about the drones. If we hit more direct hits, we would kill it quicker, but I'm bad at aiming apparently. Now, how do we tend to do this, but I still can't aim properly with the Manticore. We took out the Mega Car now, we've got the back of the music again. There was an Apex Leech nearby. But. I decided to take that out as well. We don't need to see that. This is the loot we got from the car now. We've got another one of them. We've got some Firestones, we've got some. Uh, an Ancient RG Summon. So if we need that, we've got a spare. And loads of different. Like, I would say Apex Trophies, I guess you can call them, which are useful for evolving and stuff. Now, once for the time for the next fight, I decided to test the RG out, see if we could take down a Apex Pithecus, Prime Wild, with the RG's minions, save him to get anything else into trouble because of his ranged attack. So we just sat in the sky and summoned minions. And somehow I still get hit, even though I'm nowhere near it. Look, I didn't die. Could have been dreadful. By this point, we had a full uh, flak as well. Uh, Riot even. Which also gives buffs. So, that gives us extra buffs. For why we can survive a bit more. It took ages for you to be able to summon some minions back. Like you can see, we're hovering here for ages. Eventually, we can summon back in. We send them in again. They all go in together, they, they all seem to die instantly. But once they go in different ways, they seem to do alright. Flying around in circles, doing a lot of damage. Right here, look at them all. They're all over the place, you can't hit them all at once. So, some eventually, by they kill it. <laughs> two, two summons, and they killed it. Now it's time for the Roblox of many. Many attempts. The Mega Dimorphodon. It's strong, fast, in general, without having any buffs. As you can see, it's got no buffs on it. After half health, Megas get a lot faster. So, you have to be careful. And this is the first time the server had a metal breakdown as well. But you open now, we just had, we flew back and forth, did a lot of damage to it. And it also does a lot of damage back if we're not careful. So, we have to just fly, fly as fast as we can. This is a long fight, so I'm going to give a bit more explanation of what's happened. For some reason, he decided to run. I've not had that before. And then it came back after me. It didn't make any sense. So this is basically what happens for most of it. Back and forth, firing my X attack into it, it comes. As you can see, he's now healed. 
Like a lot. He's healed a lot. Right, over down the hundred K or something, now it's back above half. And it's right on my tail as well. Because he's fast. Deadly. Yeah, good attack on it. You can do a lot of damage to it. But it's range attack is very strong as you can see. They kept healing back to full. Well, to above half, which was the annoying part. It's a lot faster and it heals super fast for no apparent reason whatsoever. Which didn't make any sense. Also, it's in the dark, so I have to camera, camera up so I can see. Look at when it does go above half, it's slower, but it's not helpful because we have to do like its health multiple times. So we got down to 151k. Health potions to keep me healthy. You can't see a thing because fire. And it flies off again. And when it comes back, you will see it is at 280k. So for no apparent reason, it's healed to full again. No, to half. I'm doing that much damage to it. You can see why this tactic fight takes ages. Luckily, I have all the protection and stuff, so I do I do take survive a hit or two. If I hit, imagine if I hit that. And now it's faster again because it's below half. This is why it's so deadly. So good, I would hit that attack. But. Now we're coming to where the problem lies. I have a dude, luckily I have a dude in my pocket, so I'll be alright. But for the first time, this all the times I've been doing this run, this hardcore run, the server dies on me. And this is the weird part. I just suddenly get kicked. So I jump, so if I wake up on the ground, no manticore in sight. But, it did die off on the ground. Or else I get attacked by a death worm. Which is annoying. So I have to take this stupid thing out again. For some reason I don't like doing this rage attack once you're underneath it though, so. Don't want, this is another reason why I'm showing this. It's because it's, it doesn't do its death ball attack. For some reason. But it stands no chance against the Dodic, so we'll just take it out real quick. But yeah, with the time off, the weird thing is, he's dead. And I've stuck inside the Death Worm, of course I am. I killed the Death Worm, but the time off's for dead. We want to cause nowhere in sight. But the time off somehow died. In between me leaving serving. Did server die and me coming back? I don't have a clue what happened. But I'm not going to complain because that fight has died. It ended, don't know how many runs. So I'm not going to complain one bit. We've got a die off tooth though, so that's another essential item. So now we have the die off, the death worm, and the RG head. We can evolve another Iceman. Oh, not another. The Iceman to car. Into a prime ice manticar. If the devolution goes through, which we do, they do this little dance and we succeed. We have a prime ice manticar. So now we have this prime ice manticar. We have new power. It's a lot stronger than the other ones. A lot more stats in general. So this is what we need to progress further in this mod. So, now I have this. It's time to fight a lava golem and this is why we need the ice. 
the ice is stronger against the lava. Makes sense. So, we kept whittling down this health, little by little, bit by bit. Most of the time it ran out away with my shots when I'd already fired them. So I did like no damage to it. I sometimes I hit it directly so it did a lot of damage. What can I just say? How amazing this content must be. Yeah, I see a goodness thing because of the fire. The fire just blocks the whole screen so you can't see a thing. That's why I get hit by this rock. That nearly kills the Manticore. Another near death experience. Now we're close. So after a long battle later, and I got to see what I'm doing. We kill it. And we just say I've got Minecraft open in the background. I don't even know why I have Minecraft open in the background. <laughs> Why would I, I'm on docks, why the hell would I have Minecraft open for? I don't have a clue. Not gonna lie. But anyway, docks. I like going off topic, don't I? Just still getting hit by the fire, amazing content, can't see a thing. But we kill it with the ice balls of death. And then we sit here taking fire damage. Probably if he's in the build firewalls, because you know we can't see them for some reason. Don't know why, just can't. We'll just stop taking damage for a while, and the Manticore decides to fly off and start trying to eat the golem's body, and I don't want it to. Build a poor Trinidon. We get off to see what we got. So we got the lava stones from the box. And we also get loot from inside. The main thing we got was the car. So once we have the car, the diver, and the King Kong head, we evolve our fire manticore. Will we get lucky? We start doing the dance again. Doing the crouchy, crouchy, jumpy, jumpy dance. Our survey says you will be granted the apex. No, not the apex. The fire manticore Y prime. I did fail this on some of them. I did say that I failed some. I swear. Next first time for the next mega fight, and this. We're using nukes. Yes, nukes. We're using nukes to take down a reaper. It was aggroed onto my own manticore, so I took the opportunity to get another one of my manticores that I have out and I had nukes to, to take it down whilst it was aggroed. This is probably the best way I can think of taking on a mega reaper. Normally, you know, now I wouldn't be aggroed onto one of the manticores, but hey, I'll take it. You have to be careful of the nukes though, because obviously they could kill you if you're not careful. They're very heavy as well. So, nukes are the strongest weapon, I think, in the mod. You can just rain them down on anything. I use it to take on Mega Reapers, Mega Rexes. Make like your other stuff, loads of megas. The initial 20k damage that this one's doing, and then the, f the nuked damage, which is basically burn, does a lot of health. As you can see, there, if his health draining slowly, but it still does a decent amount. They are expensive, or you can get them from mega drops. Mega, yeah, mega drops. So, mega drop them. Prime Wilds don't though. I think you can get them from. You can get them from the Titans and stuff as well, but we're nowhere near that stage yet, so we don't need to worry about that. As I've been, just as I've been talking, you can see the Reapers below half health, nearly dying. And all this time it's been shooting at the floor. 
well, not the fly, I've been shooting at the, the manticore that's got a fly below it, so it can't hit it. Which is extremely lucky, I think, but hey, you need luck to beat hardcore dogs. You definitely need luck to beat it. It's build dogs, I suppose, it's basically a luck mod. It's even extra strong and extra fast as well, which is good that I wasn't fighting it head on because it would not have been fun with it being stronger and faster and probably be outrun, outrun by flyers. So over Charlie, we take it out. Finally, we had to refill on some nukes, but we took it down. Once the nuke is cleared, I got a momentum call that I was using to get here and loot the body once the acid had disappeared because you know, reaper acid. I don't wait for the acid to clear, I just went through his tail. We got us different, loads of different stuff, but mainly we got the reaper head, which was the next thing that we needed. I've got a few bits and pieces, but yeah, the weird stuff was heavy, very heavy, but mainly the nukes. That's what was weighing me down. I also got some armor pieces as well, which is useful. Look, oh, my nukes. To pay back my, I don't know how many I fired, but we <laughs> got some back. I also got a sniper, right? Travis, a Doc's Fabi sniper, which is actually quite useful. But I don't think I ever ended up using it. Don't know why, I just never did. Weird me. Very weird indeed. So after slaying the reefer, we found a mega compa. So I decided to take that out. Plus we need mega compies because they can give crime compi summons. So it's easier than taming them. Next, we took on a mega fire wyvern. Another thing that's annoying to fight, because it's a flyer. Flyers are the worst things to fight. It's fast. Faster to die off. But not as strong. They don't feel as strong anyway. So I slowly lead it away from the rest of the wyverns, because as far as I'm away it can aggro. The other wyverns can aggro to it whilst you're fighting the mega, so. I want it away from everything, so I took it that lead it above the water. So it doesn't you know, get about a 500 wyverns following me. A bit of an exaggeration, yes, but there does there is a lot of wyverns there, so it's not worth the risk. So now we're above water. It's time to fight. And boy, did this fight take a long while. We got to night time, and we still nearly we hadn't killed it yet. We got it weak though. And eventually we take it down. But as you can see we can't see a thing. And it's super fast now so it's hard to hit. Hit it. It's not as, I don't think it's as hard, harder than the um, dime off just because it doesn't heal. We take the fire weapon down. We'll get some loot from it. Wish we got a wire and something. Oh, there's a zombie wire and spawning as well, but it went under the water, so that was fun. Yeah, oh, we also got a unique fire manticore prime from one of the eggs. I forgot to record. So, here it is now. Uniques are stronger than normal ones. And you get a chance of getting them from eggs. I'm going to have quite audio for this one because my mic decided to play up and I forgot to mute myself. So, fighting the Titan Dragon. Or is it an Apex Dragon? I can't remember now. I can't remember if it's the Mega Dragon. I think it's the Mega Dragon. Definitely the Mega Dragon. It's not the Titan. Why would I think it's the Titan? Anyway, we kill a Mega Dragon and the monkey spawns. <laughs> right on my head. So that's fun. Next, Mega Manticore. don't know why I thought I had my Mega Dragon. But we used this dragon we got from the Mega Dragon to fight it. Oh my goodness, I did not know how good the dragons were. But it was very useful. 
I also summon stuff, but my summon must have been a ground creature or something because, yeah, there's no there with me. So this, I can't I think it's the X attack. I can't remember which one of the attacks anyway. It hits from so far away and does decent amount of damage to the Manticore. Manticore I mean, was the hardest one to fight. Look how far away from it, and I'm doing four damage to it. That is amazing. I had not used the dragons before, cause I didn't think they were that good, but after this, I'm have to use them more often if I play this again. Not for a little while, this was too painful to handle doing it for a while. So there's a new fight, so we can have a bit more of a longer fight, so you can see what happens, and I can explain. So, the dragon doesn't have any good attacks, apart from this one here. Apparently he's from super far away, like I keep saying. Which <laughs> and it does freezing damage over time as well. A little bit, but not, not much, but every little bit helps. I think it's doing 4.8k damage for like multiple times. And from the range where the Manticore can't even hit me, if I'm careful, apart from its seeking ones. Obviously it's got a seeking attack which can. Sometimes it misses though, which is nice. But my health is hardly dripping, hardly draining. I don't think I've ever went below half health. Health potions get me topped up. I don't even think I need to use them half the time, but I kept them doing just in case I got hit by a big attack. So I could heal up instantly. Can't complain about my cooldown. Stupid thing. This has one, one million health. And we're already below half. And we haven't hardly taken any damage. The one problem with the Manticore is Torpor. So that's the one thing I was worried about was Torpor. Getting too high. That's why I stopped using the big potion because it wasn't doing that much to us. I only kept that as an emergency. So I used the two smaller ones because I can make loads of them. Not that expensive at all. There's four different types of health potions I've actually played once we've been through this fight. One tiny one that doesn't do that much at all. A medium one which doesn't do that much on its own as well, but them two together do a decent amount. Third one does a lot. And a corrupted crystal one. Which is basically Shit, I'm going to die. <laughs> so you use it to save yourself. It just fills your health up instantly. So that's why I, I kill some for the, the important fights. And yes, I decided to test something I'd never tested before. I get on a hardcore run. Big smarts. And that's the first time it did a lot of damage to me. I use one of my other potions and heal up. I didn't get below half, it got to half, okay. I did forget about that part. Like I said, I'm still nearly healed back, I'm healing back up fast. So I don't need to worry. The dragon last day I never used it didn't amazing. It's one of the harder bosses. Well not the hardest mega, but one the hardest flying mega. I think. Out of all of them, this is the hardest flying one. A couple more hits now, and it'll be taken down. And the dragon had just blown me away. And there it goes. One dead Mega Manticore. And we got our loot as well. And we just watch his body fall to the ground. And there it is. Ancient Manticore Prime. One of the things we've come for. Oh, and I went to go chest plate as well. I also killed a mega hell of this as well. And the Titan Manticore swarmed. Luckily, it didn't aggro to me. Oh, that would have been bad. Don't think Titans aggro to you though, unless you hit them, so I got lucky there. Next, this is why we were going all the mega this stuff. We could have wanted tokens. All these prime tokens. If you put them all in this compa, I must have been missing one. So I have to go back and get it. Oh no, there we go, it's dad. I thought I missed one, but it took a while to start. With compas, you can get weapons, armor, feet, and stuff. So, very useful. So, what we needed all these for was for our Titan Queen Killer. The roll. The Apex Mega Rex Prime.
this was a titan killer. A titan queen killer, because they can't fly, so they can't kill the other titans. Next we time for one of the hardest megas in the game. Mega King Kong. The reason it's the hardest is it's got summons, it throws ranged attacks. And if you're not careful, it can, and if you're unlucky, it can be even stronger than a normal one. I, th I think if it was still in at this point, I don't know if it ever got fixed. There's a chance of it being what people, I got told, call it cracked. Which means it's a lot stronger, a lot more bulky, just a lot more everything basically. They have to be careful. You want one of them. We want one of them again. With the Manticore. State range. Fire your X attack, dodge your range attacks, make you keep an eye on your stem, motions if needed. I love how you can kind of predict do with King Kong's movements, when he goes flying, you know, you're going straight back to under you, so you just fire in front of it. It's got a lot of health, but if you hit it directly, you can see you do a lot of damage. When you when the summons come in, just fly in, flying through it. This you still hit it unless you're a lot faster than it. Then obviously, you need, obviously you will, will miss it. Flying monkey minions, not that strong, but annoying. Just heal up as well, so yeah, you need to start. You need to do damage when you can to stop it from healing. Even if it's like attacking, just don't want it to heal. This thing where when it got stuck you just fired in the same spot and did a lot of damage because you can kind of keep it the attack in you know, one little area. It's helped. Obviously if you're moving about it a bit harder, so you spread I spread it out a bit. Hard to explain how the attack works, but it works. Also, I've got being scared of the fly monkey minions because I killed her that many times now without him even touching me, really. Which means it's not the Mega, Ma Mega King Kong from healing as much. It's extra fast and more bulky as well. So I chose the best one as per usual, the one that has more defense. It takes longer to kill. I mean, that one big hit wipes its health out. And that was Mega King Kong slain. Another Mega down. I think I've killed all the Megas apart from the T-Rex. Which I'm on the, then the Dodo X, which neither of I'm touching. I'm not touching them. So next we've got the Reaper. Which I thought I'd show, but apparently I missed it. I thought I got something about showing you how you got these, but... Basically how you get the Reaper is you need a Ferox. And... The Reaper artifact thing. You put it in a ferox and you get a reaper. I thought I'd show how you get it, but obviously I didn't. But now it's time for the Titan Brew fight. I got an army of Mega Rexes by cloning them. All we summons and we sent them in. We went in. Even though you would not be able to fight the Queen one on one with the Rex. That's why you need them in the army. As you can see, we're draining this hell. Already at half. 4k. Okay, four mil. Then it starts swimming in golems in, which wasn't very good. But now it's still doing less damage to it. For some reason, don't know why, but suddenly we're doing less damage to it. I guess it has a thing where it does less. You do less damage to it. But then all my my, my Rex has died, so I left to a one v one. Eventually, after many fight, we took it down. The entire queen had been defeated. Luckily it wasn't doing too much damage to me. Because nothing else we interested apart from the queen, so I never only had it fighting me. But we slayed it and got all this stuff and got the ancient primal manticore. The strongest manticore in the game. Only a few more fights left and it was time to take down the big boss. So after doing that we wanted to get corrupted. Manticore armor, which is better than normal ar Manticore armor. 
Now it was time for the Titan Overlord fight. I never had to take on the other Titan because I didn't realise I didn't need to. And this is where part of it became later in the fight. Super laggy. So I'll show you some parts of it. And some of it I'll have to cut out. Well, so explain. We want to use nukes and this primal manticore. This is the strongest manticore. It does these balls of lightning attacks. The Titan does like this electric ball attack if you get too close, does a lot of damage to you up close if you want to stay as far away as you can. The nukes are good for range and do a lot of damage as well. I like you in the fight, it does different types of attacks. And for some reason that's why it got super laggy for recording, but we're alright for me, which didn't make any sense. So I don't know why. The server seemed alright, but as you can see we've started to get other attacks involved already. Fire starts coming, we start to summon fire and stuff. Luckily we don't get burnt because of the armor and stuff. So it does damage but it doesn't get flame as which is useful. If you do want to see a full fight though of me not dying, not on this, on when I was doing the hardest diff docks difficulty settings solo. Obviously I could die if I wanted, but I never actually ended up dying, which is funny. I have a video which I'll link in the description and pull it at the end of the video. With the full fight of me doing it solo without dying. And I uncut as well. Good. So, now uh, we've got that out. We're going to keep firing nukes into it. Yes, this fight takes a while. This is why it has an hour time limit. That's why I'm not going to show you all of it. As well as the lag, I'm not going to show you all of it because we'd be, the video would be like two hours long. As much as that wouldn't be too bad, I just, I hate just now. There's 31 million health, which is not fun. But then we still have nukes left, and we're doing like 20k to it. I'm not doing high settings, I have made the settings slightly easier just because. I didn't want to be here forever. And here is the next fire. The fireballs and the summoners. Or hydras as I say. So they fire poison and fire. Um, I almost walked across now. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Because of the hydras and stuff spawning. Oh yeah, they obviously the Overseer? This is not the Overseer. The Overlord has a headshot as well. So you want to aim for the head with everything. It does have a head hitbox. So you do more damage to the head than you do the rest of the body. They say I do like 19, 20k there. I was doing 6k before on the body. So just something to note. If you can keep the attacks like close like that. You do more damage. Well, it's time to skip to the next stage of the fight. And this is where it started getting laggy. So I took the bit that I could that was actually calm. And you can actually see what was happening. So, as you can see just before there, they, um, there was a death ball that can instantly kill you. Like a lot. You can also see flying monkey minions flying around me. Then it spawns in Megas, Mega Reapers, Mega Wyverns. The Mega Reapers aren't that bad because they're on the floor. But the Mega Wyverns are a pain. And there we have it. After that, it's just a straight kill. Stuff, everything spawns at you at once. And finally, once the Overlord dies, is when the lag finishes. And what a better ending after killing the Manticore and beating the mod, dying to a Mega Manticore. I want to thank you everyone so much for watching. I do enjoy playing the docks, but it can be a pain. This was by far the hardest thing I've ever done on Ark. If you want to see the full fight, it'll be in the description. And if you want to talk about me and give me other ideas for these videos, or just series in general, join the Discord. I'd love to talk to you all. Thank you everyone for watching. See you all next time. Bye-bye.